Yes, thank you, brother. Um, it actually happened on Monday, just Monday past, and uh, I was not familiar with Reiki. I'd heard of it, but I was really not familiar with it. Many other subjects, and I work along with a brother. He's a retired minister, but he has spent about 40 years of his life in what we would call deliverance ministry. So he would be very familiar with all these areas that Ray has been mentioning and many others. Uh, and what the situation was, I was invited to go over on Monday morning at 11 o'clock for prayer with this young lady uh, from Northern Ireland who had deep problems. So we met with her and uh, she had come from a very difficult uh, home, uh, a lot of problems in the home. She had been abused and a lot of things. But three years <clears throat> previously, she had come to the Lord. And uh, when she came for prayer, she had been prayed with before and she had got a measure of help and deliverance and she was aware of that uh, but when we prayed with her we asked her because often uh, especially a christian who is desirous to go forward with the lord she knew there were obstacles and uh, that was why she had come for prayer and uh, when we talked to her she had a picture or an image that was continually coming before her uh, over a prolonged period, and that was that she was in a dark hole. And uh, we initially thought that maybe it meant that something had happened to her because she said the age that she was when she was in this dark hole. And initially, we thought it was maybe an event that had occurred at that age in her life, and that was the dark hole that the Lord wanted out, her out. But over a period of time, it became apparent then um, that she started to explain not only had she had abuse, but then she had also been to a healer. Uh, and she had went along to this healer. Now, I don't know what degree, uh, Reyes mentioned the three degrees, but I don't think she was just, uh, uh, you know, the stage one. She was either stage two or stage three. And what was interesting and sad was that she had died very unexpectedly at about 40 years of age. That was the healer. Uh, because obviously there's dangers for the person as well when you're being a channel uh, for demonic spirits. Now this young girl went with just absolute pain in her head, pain in her body. She wanted healed. So again, th there was nothing religious. She didn't. She wasn't interested in becoming anything. She just wanted healed. And the first thing that she mentioned, which I'd never heard before, was what she called hippie candles, but that was just healing candles. So they put candles into her ear and lit them. And uh, she received this healing. And then she had a thing called a Chinese, or rather an Indian, uh, massage uh, on her head. And uh, she said that she had received great help and release through that. And then she said, I had gone for Reiki. And uh, I had got that. And of course, the gentleman with me was very tuned in. And he said, oh, hold on a moment. We need to pray. We need to go through these things because you have opened yourself to something that God forbids. And uh, when you open the channel, the enemy comes in. So very briefly, we just invited Jesus to come and to minister to this young woman that was seeking to get out of this hole. And uh, I've been in many deliverance sessions down through the years. But I have to say, I told my wife when I went home, I said, it was really a unique one because she began when we started to pray and just ask Jesus. We didn't touch her. We didn't go near her. We just asked Jesus to come and release her. She, beautiful looking young woman, she was 30 years of age. She really began to twist and contort and she started to squeal. Now, I mean squeal. And her right hand went out like this and it was like a claw, like a claw. And the, the servant of God with me, he said to me, Alan, look, look, look at the hand. Look at the hand, he said. And it was like a claw. It was out like that. And he said to me, anoint it. Anoint. And I anointed her hand with oil. And the hand pulled back. And eventually the hand came out clear. And eventually the spirit left. And that was the spirit of Ricky. Familiar spirit that had come through this particular channeler. Now, she ha had no idea. And she said to us, you know, what was that? We said, will you tell us what it was? Mm -hmm. 
because I mean you're there and we're not here to you tell us and she said something rose up in my stomach she said it come right up to my throat and she said I felt it leaving and it was the spirit of Ricky <laughs>